think I was on another planet, wouldn't you? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Bonny Lad Adventures. Today's adventure, I'm going to do a, a wild camp on the set of Aliens 3, the one with Sigourney Weaver in. Also, I'll show you the scenes from The Last Kingdom, which is on Netflix now, a Viking film. Tell you about some local legends who used to live down the caves here. I'll show you that as well. I'm going to cook a full English on a rock, apart from the sausages, because I forgot one. And we play it. <laughs> See when we get down there. So we're at Nose's Point now, and what used to be a carnivore. <laughs> Carboniferous swamps 320 million years ago. And we're coming along down now. Alright, kidder, your pan big enough? And this is the Blast Beach, and it's called the Blast Beach because there was blast furnaces running all the way along there back in the day. I'll take this down. Same to you, one all. All right, Mara. Uh, yeah. You all right? Yeah. It's coming down now. I'll show you the cave. Don't worry about the wind, when we get down to the bottom there'll be no wind if it's, so it's not going to ruin the video <clears throat> Bottom of here a local legend called Rocky who used to get dressed up as a cowboy believe it or not and dance around see him and obviously he was a bit mentally ill but he used to dance around see him and he slept rough down this beach in the caves till he was past his 70s and he's only just recently died um, in his 80s and this is the cave Rocky's cave. Fancy getting dressed up as a cowboy. I don't know. So, I forgot to tell you, I'm in Seam Harbour, my hometown, an ex mining village. And this is where they used to dump all the slag from the pits. I forgot to tell you that. And all the coal would get washed up. And this is what it's caused. 100 year of dumping slag. And this is what it's done to the beach. But obviously the sea's fighting back. It's eroding away. And back in the day, there was a path running down there before it was ero erosed. Whatever you call it. The erosion and Blasties used to come down on the bike and get the coal that was washed up from the sea carried up the cliffs and then go around the local town selling it and that's why they were called Blasties because they would get the blast coal from the Blast Beach but um, I'll take you over to where the Lost Kingdom the Viking one on Netflix. This is the scene of the slayed. <laughs> I'm trying to keep me laughing because I'm trying to be sensible and give you all a history lesson and whatever. But this is the scene of the slave traders camp and all the Vikings burst out in a revolt. And it was come out of here. And this is the scene from Get Carter, 
Michael Caine 1971 film. If you watch the end of that, you'll see this beach and how it was 1971, so 59 years ago. But it's getting beautiful now. So we'll walk along the beach, go find me a um, me camping spot and I'll get a fire going and I will cook a full English on a rock because I've wanted to do it for years. I've seen it on the telly, being done on YouTube and stuff. I thought I would like to do that. Sorry for the camera, but I've just tripped over a rock. <laughs> beautiful down here but look you can you can understand why it was uh, all the movie sets come down it's like being on another planet you go down low it's like being on Mars but brilliant for exploring because every high tide the sea comes and washes more away and you find all weird stuff Sea glass, that's another thing seems famous for, for the bottle works. They used to dump the bottles, the broke the bottles into the sea. And they all come and collect the sea glass and make ornaments out of it. Ornaments, um, or is it? Bracelets and jewellery and stuff like that. Sell it all over the world now. There's thousands of people come down the beach, just walking around, look like zombies, looking for little, little bits of sea glass. Right guys, folks, peeps, I think I'm going to make me camp down there where it's flat and it's not sandy. Look at this, unbelievable. Or further up the beach, closer to the sea where I can get some firewood and make a fire. I'm not too sure. It's a bit sheltered here as well. So, what I'll do is I'll bring you back when my camp's set up and I've got my fire going because the light's going down and I haven't got much time and it's going to take us at least an hour to get set up and the fire going and whatnot and ready for me full English on a rock apart from my sausage and my plate. <laughs> I'll just have to eat it off the rock. But this is just... Helicopters is out as well. Helicopter, Coast Guard, two boats. There's police along the cliff edges. I think somebody's gone missing. Unfortunately, I hope they found, but hopefully it can't be a drill because all the police wouldn't be along them cliff tops and whatnot. I'm not going to show you it in case it's a local lad or something like that. But I'm going to find somewhere where it's a bit sheltered out the wind so I can uh, film better, you can hear you better. But this is just absolutely amazing. I might camp down there. I don't know, but I'll bring you back. And I've got my camp set up and the fire going. Whee -hee! Right, guys, I'm all set up. Got my trusty Vincent Van Gogh. Not too bad um, setting it up. Could have been better, but it is in sand, so I've just used some rocks. Pegging it out was an absolute nightmare, but um, I might need some more rocks on that one just to make sure. Got my fire going. lovely jubbly big logs to burn all night got me cans I might have one now actually I've got me full English me water me oil light fry I put empty that out and put some uh, Olivia Newton John oil in full English in there beans so basically just waiting 
for that fight to go down to embers and I'll stick a rock on and stick me stick me food on I think I'll nice and relax now because I was simultaneously looking after the fire running getting wood and putting me tent up at the same time <laughs> so but look at this what a place to camp absolutely amazing so so peaceful and soon I'll have it all to myself all to myself <laughs> oh this is the life same harbour So now I'm all set up, I'm going to have a can and wait for the fire to go down, so I'll bring his back, shield in a bit. Right guys, here we go. Full English on a rock. And we have sweet. Sweet, crunchy, sliced onion from Denmark. We have black pudding from Sweden. Bacon from Denmark. Martos from France. <laughs> Mushrooms from Albania. I'll put the eggs on last. I'll bring this back when it's all frying up. Don't worry, I've cleaned the slate. Oh, and beans some Germany. Or a little fire going down there, keep them warm. Right, we're getting somewhere now. Well, trying anyway. There's sticks and twigs and bits of sand and anyway, I forgot my plate and the sausages as you know, so I was going to eat it out of this, and there's only a bit of wood or something when I went to collect some wood some woods jumped into there and burnt a hole in it so I haven't yet <laughs> I haven't got a clue how, how I'm going to eat it I'm going to have to wait for that rock to cool down and just eat it off the rock but this is typical cowboy Chris style this but you have to improvise it's as simple as that I don't know what I'm going to do about that you know, why I'm some Kent survival. <laughs> oh, dear me. Actually, it looks all right. Well, no, it doesn't look all right, but we're getting there. Just something I've wanted to do for a long time is coat on a rock, but I'll give you a little bit of advice. Don't cook on a rock down the beach and use charcoal. Don't pick 
bits of wood up and use a barbecue or something because um, it's going to be a bit crunchy this like and I forgot me sausages I'm sick about that some um, they were from the Shire of Worcester as well and they had um, spices and herbs in them and everything got it there's a few dead flies in there and all that that'll just add the protein <laughs> so I don't know what I'll do I'll figure something out but I'll spare you them details Gordon Ramsay has got nout on me. Right folks, one more last look before the light goes down. I've um, just put some more rocks on there just in case because it was the wind's blowing on that side a little bit too much. Um, not so much on this side, but poor little rock there, just in case. <laughs> and the light's going down now. And what I'm going to try and do is save me battery. So I'll have a little chat, a little Q&A. Um, save me battery. My power bank really and I'm going to watch the sunset come up in the morning because it's absolutely unbelievable coming up over there can you see us can you hear us about the ninth time I've done this Right. Right. It's made, fed, watered. Time to chill. Time to relax. Time for a Q and A. Question and answers. Um, questions I'm starting to get now about my channel. Can you give us a shout out? <sighs> yes, I can. Sometimes. Now and again, um, first shout out I want to give on on this channel is to my son Christopher and his lovely girlfriend Lindsay and my beautiful two granddaughters Ella and Amy. Randa loves you and I'll see you soon. Miss you. Um, about shout outs, I'll do one a week and I will randomly go through the comments section just flick that to me flicking through the comments section go like that really go like that um, and I'll choose one randomly and I'll give you a, and I'll give you a shout out what one a week because I'm getting people now personally messaging us getting hold of people who I know getting hold of relations will you do as a shout out one woman got hold of us, I swear to God. I don't know how she did, personally messages. And she asked if I would give our Nana a shout out, who's in a nursing home. And she asked us, while I give the shout out, while I give her the shout out, will I speak up? Cause she's a bit deaf. <laughs> oh, I never laughed too much in my life. So there's an old woman in a nursing home who loves watching us, but she's deaf. But our daughter wants us to shout out on the video so she hears. <laughs> oh, and then and then I'm getting messages and me great great granddad he watches and he's got shingles and can you give him a shout out and stuff like that. And, but um, yes, I can. But one a week, 
randomly selected. So please don't get in touch with us personally and this and all that because I, can, I, can't, I can't do it all. So that's it for the shout outs. One a week. Um, what else can I say? Thank you for all for watching, subscribing and all the lovely comments of support um, and encouragement. Really, really nice watching, uh, reading all them. Um, if it wasn't for the comments and the words of encouragement, I mean, I would still do this. But I wouldn't be filming, I wouldn't put it on YouTube, which gives us a good boost. It's really nice to listen to all your compliments and telling us to carry on and keep going and be looking forward to more videos. It's really, really nice watching, but giving shout out to deaf old women in nursing homes. I mean, I could try, <laughs> but she's not going to hear. <laughs> But anyway, it's been an amazing night tonight. It's been really good. The sun's going down now. And what I want to do is I want to try and save some battery because I want to see the sunrise in the morning. over that sea and I think if I angle the camera properly the sunrise coming up would be absolutely unbelievable I know I keep promising you and I did it in Scotland I did get up but I, I didn't have much battery so I've got my power bank and I think just for use I'll, I'll get up I'll set my alarm and I'll, and I'll set the stand and I'll do a hyperlapse, I think it's a hyperlapse or something like that, where the sun comes up in slow motion. And um, I'll do that just for you, just to finish the video off, because it's getting dark now and there's not much more I can do, really. But uh, it's been a good one, this. adventures right I will see you in the morning I'm going to collect some more wood heat that up sit and finish that can off sit on the opposite side of the fire so the smoke's not hitting us put the camera there for effect but never mind anyway I think I'll show you. I think I'll show you around one last time. Fire going. I might just put some more on there. You never know. Listen to the sea. Sun's going down. Not a soul on the beach. Just me and me fire. Proper caveman style. <laughs> Right, I'm going to stop filming now. I'll see you in the Lee Morgan.
Right guys, that's the end of that one. If you like that, like and subscribe please for more Bonnie Lad adventures. Look at that. See you next one.